Yo, what's going on Comfy Gang? It's your boy Comfy Neat here. So uh, currently it's uh, daytime and uh, I know this might be confusing to some people because I, I did technically go on Discord last night and I did say that I recorded a video, um, you know, I guess last night, but um, I'm deciding to reshoot it because it was it was, um, it was was way too rambly and um, all over the place and um, basically incoherent when I watched it back. So anyways, um, enough about that. So, um, yeah, also, uh, yeah, thank you for the, uh, the patience since last video. Um, my cough is like, <clears throat> it's like 90, 95 to like maybe 98% gone now. Like I only have like a little bit of, <coughs> of itchiness in the, uh, in like my throat. So, um, yeah, I think I should be able to finally, um, finally, uh, like shoot this video properly, but, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So, um, if you guys are, already saw the title by now, which you most definitely have, uh, then you probably know that, um, uh, you know, I've gone a uh, full, um, Eldar mode. I've, uh, you know, I've gone full comfy max. Uh, I've taken the, I've taken the rot pill. Uh, I've decided to just, you know, take the give up on life pill and the, the nihilism pill and just, uh, you know, go full rot mode, <laughs> go full degen rot mode. And, um, anyways, yeah. So this video is essentially going to be talking about that and, Basically, it's going to be sort of like a, a life update video. I'm not really going to be talking about any, uh, you know, be giving any of uh, any of my uh, opinions on anything really, but just, you know, basically uh, let you guys know what I've been doing uh, these past few months, given that, um, you know, I guess people are probably curious as to what I do <laughs> whenever, um, you know, I disappear for so long and, um, um, you know, and I guess those on who haven't been on Discord or didn't talk to me on Discord, don't really know. So um, <coughs> um, anyways, yeah, so um, yeah. As to why I went, um, you know, full Eldar mode, uh, it's probably kind of a stupid reason, but uh, basically the story, the, the story, it's not really a story, it's pretty boring, but um, it begins, um, um, it begins, it begins like maybe October, sometime early October last year. And, you know, up until that, point in time you know probably for like the whole year like since january last year uh you know um i've i probably said this maybe a few times in my videos but um i guess it would be kind of hard to believe given the lack of evidence um you know on my part because but yeah anyways um you know i was playing um a lot of guitar um i was maybe playing like when i first was getting into it maybe like <laughs> six to eight hours a day and then um it slowly uh it slowly tapered off to maybe like four to six hours as I, I guess maybe got slightly more and more like bored and bored of it and also got harder and harder to actually learn stuff. But, um, yeah, I was playing a lot of guitar and, you know, you know, obviously there's no evidence of this because, um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm really like quite shit at it, to be honest. Like, um, like I'm pretty ass at it. So, um, I was hoping maybe one day I could, play something on the channel when I actually am, I'm able to like be good and stuff. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, yeah, I was playing a lot of guitar and, you know, I was actually really trying hard. And, you know, even though uh, at that point in time, I had eventually, you know, sort of come to give up on this idea of, of, you know, ascending to rejoin uh, society, um, or at least I thought I did, um, you know, maybe part of, part of me at the back of my mind was thinking like, um, you know, maybe I'll just try learning guitar as a sort of like last Hail Mary attempt at, you know, maybe quote unquote, uh, you know, um, you know, just finding a way to, you know, eke out an existence somehow without having to, uh, you know, resort to, uh, you know, your typical wage slave job, because obviously um, I think it's looking more and more likely that at some point in the next few years, I'm probably going to have to be forced to do that. But, um, <coughs> so, um, anyways, yeah, I was, I was really trying hard and I was like practicing pretty consistently and, you know, I was making a lot of progress at first and I was, you know, starting to gain some self-confidence, um, you know, thinking at the back of my mind, like, Hey, you know, maybe you know, I was starting to like get the, get all these feelings of hope, like, Hey, you know, like maybe this might actually, um, you know, turn into something like maybe my life will actually work out. Maybe I'm, you know, I'm actually some, you know, some, this is probably pretty cringe, but like some secretly talented person who's, 
you know, undiscovered genius and all that sort of like bullshit that, you know, you kind of think when you, you uh, get a little bit too ahead of yourself. And, um, you know, I was becoming, getting this sort of like false sense of confidence. And, you know, I was, yeah, so I kept playing, but then as things started to get harder and harder with the learning, um, and after doing a lot of research and watching other, you know, people play guitar on YouTube, I um, I came across, I sort of realized that um, this whole time that I was learning guitar, um, I was actually, I was actually pressing the strings wrong. And um, for those of you who don't know how to play guitar, um, you're basically supposed to press the strings with the very, very tips of your fingers, um, which is why um, cutting cutting your nails on your um, your fretting hand, which is like the left hand that presses the strings, is really important. So you can really hit the uh, you can really press down on the uh, the strings with that like really pointy part of your finger. But I was actually using like more of the fleshy part. And as a result of this, um, you know, it was making my playing really unclean. Um, I was like hitting strings all over the place and it just was honestly not professional. And it was also affecting um, my ability to, um, um, you know, my finger dexterity and stuff. So um, this probably doesn't mean a whole lot to anyone listening to this, but basically um, a TLDR version of that is that it was basically making my playing like pretty shitty and like un very amateur. So um, at this point, like I was like really hyped up. I hyped myself up <laughs> like <laughs> wrongly, I guess. So, um, you know, obviously this, this came as like a huge setback to me and, you know, I tried correcting it, but then another unfortunate discovery um, that I realized was that, you know, if you learn to do something the wrong way, like let's say you learn how to shoot a basketball wrong or you learn how to draw something with the wrong technique. And then, you know, if you do that for a lot, you'll still get better in a sense, but slowly over time, that'll eventually hit some sort of like plateau where, um, you basically, you know, stop improving because your tech, like the foundation upon which you're building the skill in the first place is, um, you know, is basically like shit. It's kind of like building a house on like mud basically. So, um, yeah. So I, I tried to undo this and like relearn pressing the, uh, the strings properly, but it almost felt like I was like relearning the guitar from scratch as if I had like never learned the uh, guitar in the first place because like my my hands were always like shaking and every time I tried doing like playing the guitar correctly it would it's like my fingers would be all jerky and stuff and like basically have like a like a seizure like not really but kind of and it was just at this point in time I was honestly like really really frustrated and uh I, I started going down a uh <coughs> I guess a pretty bad like train of thought mentally because it almost felt like I had, um, I had like spent all this time, um, playing, playing guitar for pretty much, uh, you know, no reason. And, you know, like once it's kind of like this idea of like, uh, the higher you lift yourself up, the harder you fall. So it's like, at this point I was like already giving myself this sort of like maybe false sense of hope that I could actually like make something of myself playing guitar, you know, which is pretty delusional, uh, you know, um, now that I think about it, cause I'm like fucking 25, but then you know, at the time, like when you're in the moment, sometimes you don't really catch it. Or maybe that's because I'm like, just, I tend to be like delusional, but, um, yeah. So because of that, um, I, I started thinking of all these thoughts of, um, you know, like, fuck this, like, why did I even bother trying and like, you know, like, like, what's the point of me trying when, you know, all these guitar, like, virtuosos and people who I consider and most people consider as good, good, good guitarists probably started playing when they were, like, 10 or, like, 15 or, like, 18, when they were a lot younger. And I'm, like, at the tail end of when growth as a human being is supposed to happen. Like, in my, in my mid-20s, basically, like, it only goes down here from, downhill from here. So, um... <coughs> um yeah, I was a uh, yeah, I was like pretty discouraged, and I, yeah, I was like at that point in time, I was like, "F it," I I just went, I started um you know going down this whole like like doomer like nihilism like train of thought, and I was like, "Fuck it," you know like 
like like imagine imagine like imagine this like the this is like this is like maybe like the hardest i've actually tried at anything like even way harder than when i was actually like like doing all this sort of like like lifting shit and like gym gym rat shit like like um yeah like i was basically working like almost like a full-time job playing guitar only to find out that i was doing it wrong the entire time so i just went full yeah i just you know at that point i was like fuck it like i don't know what to do and you know simultaneously maybe like earlier that year i was already uh you know looking into getting like a gaming laptop because um i you know i would always i've always been like a like a console peasant you know not implying that i i couldn't have asked my parents uh to get me one at some point especially when i was like a lot younger and they probably had more hope for me but um you know it's i'm not gonna larp and say that i don't know it's like i probably could have gotten it at any point because like instead of getting the the computer like that you see back there um i probably could have gotten like a gaming laptop instead but the reason i chose that computer was because you know i probably my whole life i've had sort of this like improver mindset and this idea that you know if i had like a, a gaming computer then it would just suck my life away and you know i, I had all these these um these sort of like lofty ambitions you know back when i was in like you know maybe early early college and like high school thinking that i you know this is all like pointless like i'm just gonna improve and so um i i i mostly just stuck to uh like consoles and uh like um yeah and um like i guess i would play games on like the the computers that i would use for school but you know these weren't really like gaming computers so probably just like league of legends maybe you know easy to run games and um <coughs> so yeah um at this point in time um because i was so like dejected and like frustrated um i know this sounds really pathetic but that's just honestly like how i felt at the time like i um i was like yeah fuck this i think i'm just gonna fucking get a gaming laptop so um you know at this point in time like the whole of last year i was you know i was uh you know um slowly saving up money like from doing like uh you know helping my aunt do stuff um i can't really say what exactly but just think of it as like like uh you know like mowing the lawn or like trimming hedges for money i guess but like a very like small token sum and it's like pretty in <clears throat> um infrequent but um i was i managed to save up maybe 1.5k that whole year and canadian and um i think my goal at the time was to like save up all the money just through that without you know cutting into like whatever money i had in the bank like my quote-unquote life savings but at the time i was like i was just so frustrated and i just you know i wanted some way to cope so i said fuck it i'm just gonna cut, spend my, my life savings so i just you know i just basically spent um the 1.5k that i'd saved up and probably maybe another 1.3 uh 1.3k out of my life savings which is probably around like 5k total <laughs> and uh and um i i just you know i just scoured the web until i could find a a pretty i guess a gaming laptop that i thought would literally last me for like the next like five or six years even though now i realize that um, well i guess the one that i got should last me that long um because i don't i think the highest settings shit is like doesn't really matter at the end of the day but um like but um yeah i just decided to get this um yeah i got this uh I got one of those like mid mid upper range uh, gaming laptops, which is like equivalent to like a a mid range uh, desktop, and um, <coughs> from this generation, I mean, and um, yeah, I I I, I decided to just like full on splurge on that, and you know at this time I was pretty ecstatic because you know having been playing uh console games my whole life or like you know League of Legends on like a like a non-gaming PC, like, um, uh, you know, I was really excited to finally be able to, you know, just play games on like the highest, on like the highest or like the maybe second to highest settings 
without without having to worry about you know like stuttering and like you know random like crashing and stuff and um you know honestly that's exactly what happened um i was really 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 like happy at first when i got it and um you know it almost felt like the same rush that i got when i uh when i rediscovered anime for the first time in a long time last year and you know, i the first thing i did was uh you know redeem like the the one month free trial of uh xbox game pass and i i think i downloaded like doom eternal as my uh as the first game that i got and i was like i was just fucking like blown away and um just like like i didn't realize like um i don't know like maybe i was just like going full consumer mode and um you know like just blown away by like the fps like playing over like 60 fps for the like the first time like i i never really even like knew about or paid attention to things like fps to be honest i thought like every game ran at like 60 or 30 fps so then you know i had that with like the higher settings and like on the smaller laptop screen it just like yeah i, I basically just got hooked on gaming so i was i think i beat doom eternal in like three days uh playing like <coughs> eight hours a day and you know for the next like maybe like three months up until this point you know i was uh, basically gaming non-stop um for like six to eight hours a day <laughs> instead of playing guitar i was gaming non-stop for like six to eight hours a day and just uh jumping from like game to game every time i would beat a game um I would, you know, immediately play a new game like the next day. And um, I was like deliberately trying to play games of different genres, of different lengths, of different art styles, because, you know, the goal was essentially to keep the uh, the cope going as long as possible, like the uh, to prevent my brain from essentially uh, adapting and getting bored of the games. So I was I was basically playing, uh, yeah, like nonstop for yeah it's like three months and um when i wasn't gaming i was either like watching youtube like mostly like vtuber clips <laughs> fucking vtuber clips and uh or you know obviously this sort of like cut into my it cut into my anime watching so i was watching less anime but i was still watching some anime so like my entire life consisted of you know gaming uh youtube vtuber uh youtube clips or streams and um <laughs> <laughs> fucking youtube so i mean no fucking anime so it was uh i think that is a pretty typical uh eldar uh eldar regimen i guess for a lot of people i don't know if some people like movies but i'm i'm really more into like the anime and stuff like that and and the games so yeah games and anime i think is pretty typical so yeah i was just doing that for a long time and as a result of the Eldar lifestyle, you know, um, a lot of, uh, I mean, I guess you can't really, you can't necessarily say that progress wasn't made, but it, um, as just arguably, uh, you know, progress that was like antithetical to what society expects of you in some sense, and also is antithetical or opposite of what is actually maybe good for you as a human being. So, um, you know, I, I'm basically like completely 100% out of shape now. Um, I pretty much, you know, lost all of my quote unquote, um, muscle mass. And, um, I, that's also partly due to the stomach issues that I mentioned previously, but, um, yeah, that combined with like the gaming, um, yeah, I just, I'm completely out of shape. Uh, I have very typical, uh, you know, skinny fat physique now. Um, I, my, my social skills are pretty much, uh, are pretty much done. Uh, I, I can't imagine myself, you know, having verbal dialogue with most people other than my parents. <laughs> it is, it's, it's pretty, it's just pretty hard. Um, I probably doesn't seem like this, um, based on this video, but, um, it's a lot easier to talk into a camera, probably easier than a lot of people realize. Um, well, maybe for someone like me, but, um, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, it's just like, you know, getting more and more aches and pains in my body, a lot of my muscles and like my joints and stuff. It just feels really tight. 
And um, I'm thinking that maybe that's what's contributing to like the stomach issues is just like how tensed up my stomach is from always slouching over. Um, you know, um, you know, I've been on a, I've been on several three week to um, to a one to one month no fab streaks, but it's honestly it's not even because I'm I'm like trying to do no fab. It's because my my. Uh, my uh, my my uh, li my libido, uh, li libido is a uh, is basically uh, it's basically shot at this point like non-existent like I'm literally uh, I'm literally uh, like a fucking plant like uh, you know uh, if you watch those uh, those hikikomori or like Japanese documentaries on uh, on YouTube um, about the quote unquote herbivore men like I don't know if uh, I'm classified as one technically but uh, i definitely feel like one like i feel like a fucking plant at this point like i just like i have no I'm, at this point in time like i have no like i don't know like my body's all fucked up like i'm pretty sure like um living this way for so long is probably not good um you know like that feeling of that rot when you get when you sit in a chair for so long that you uh that you start to like almost feels like this like really weird like brain fog from like sitting in, ch in a chair all day and being like slouched over staring at a screen it's like your brain is foggy and you can kind of feel almost like tingling like feelings like shooting up your back from your spine and it's kind of like this weird like this weird like uncomfortable like buzzing feeling like it's like that's almost what i feel a lot of the time and especially that's what i've been feeling a lot during this sort of like period in my life and um <coughs> yeah so um um, you know, ever since, um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, like I tried playing guitar maybe like two days ago for the first time in a long time. And, you know, my fingers are like fucking like all fucked up now. Like I can't even do like, it's like, that was really stupid of me to stop playing because now like, it's like even worse off than I was like before when I realized that I had the, uh, I, my technique was all messed up and, um, I, yeah um um i don't know how i feel honestly like um i think the one the one thing the one saving grace was supposed to be that you know if i was to do this um eldar lifestyle that you know i would be able to cope for the you know next like um the next several several years and you know maybe every so often maybe hypothetically work a work a part-time job just so I could like save up enough money to uh, get you know maybe uh another gaming pc when this one finally becomes like out of out of out of date or just like straight up like breaks because you know like hardware longevity and stuff but um to be honest like you know I'm not saying that I don't enjoy games at this moment still or anime but um ever since I you know I stopped pretty much doing all this other stuff and just went straight Eldar mode. Um, I, I can't, um, I can't shake this feeling that somehow like I have this sense of like deja vu every time, like I play a new game or watch a new anime. And it's like, um, it almost feels like, like that I'm in a weird way. Like I'm, everything is starting to feel exactly the same. And it feels like I'm doing or witnessing or consuming the exact same thing over and over again. I'm I'm inputting the exact same actions every time I play a video game, and um, I still enjoy it. But I I'm starting to get this um, weird nagging feeling that maybe in like a few months from now, um, I'm it's almost um, it's almost gonna reach this point where I don't enjoy doing these things anymore, and um, um, <clears throat> yeah, which is kind of worries me because first of all it's just like the obscene amount of money that i spent on this this uh essentially what is supposed to be like a coke machine that was supposed to like last me for like the next five years um i thought that this was going to be something that would would be able to carry me uh carry me over for you know at least maybe a decade even and here i am already starting to feel uh bit like burnt out and bored like a, a lot of times like very quickly it feels like i'm getting more and more bored of games when i play them um and i'm starting to in a sense maybe 
I'm starting to see where a lot of needs are coming from when they say that they don't enjoy anything anymore or like everything seems boring or repetitive or rehashed because um I yeah that's honestly like I don't feel that completely yet but I'm I'm starting to get like that yeah worrying sense of that happening and the second reason this worries me is because like like what happens when all the copes run out because um for a long time um improving was my cope and then now that I got rid of that um as far as like consumerism copes go um you know I feel like I've tried everything as far as that goes um so you know there was YouTube which I've been watching since I was a teenager so you know I like YouTube but um if I watch it for too long I get bored of it very quickly and it but it almost seems like I'm just endlessly scrolling looking for new videos to watch even though I'm like barely interested in them but I'm just looking for I don't know I don't even know why like it's like the most like random shit I can't watch like I don't find most channels that I watch like bearable to watch anymore like especially like a lot of like the 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 more like typical stuff that people watch like on like the YouTube recommendation shit like it's just I can't watch most of that um there's um <coughs> movies TV which I really don't find it interesting anymore just because I feel like that's really all just you know created for the sake of uh you know like worshiping like you know just facially attractive actors and actresses and she just seems like a massive like like lookism cult basically um and also to just like it's like hollywood like circle jerk shit like i don't i find it hard to watch movies especially like the more recent stuff even but even like older stuff um there's like uh there's um there's anime which i still enjoy to extent but um i'm starting to become um feels like almost like pickier and pickier and it feels like um like some of the stuff that uh i i would have watched before like uh like the the quint fuck what's it called quint quintessential quint <laughs> like like shitty harem anime like i tried like watching a few episodes and i didn't nearly find it as enjoyable as i did before <laughs> So it seems I'm becoming more and more like picky with that kind of stuff. Um, and video games, I still enjoy to an extent, but I feel myself getting burnt out more and more. And maybe this is just like a like a, a phase I'm going through. Like maybe I'm just like depressed at the moment or something. Even though I don't really feel depressed, but um, I yeah I don't I don't yeah I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's like so. What do I do after all that? what do I do after all that stuff ends? Like, um, it's something that I've been wrestling with. Um, and it's something that I might have to, you know, be thinking about for like in the near future, because, um, yeah, it feels like the copes are running out. Um, and, uh, yeah, at the same time, it, it feels like it's too late for me to learn anything useful. Um, I don't really know, like, what I can learn. I think that's one of the huge contributing factors as to why I'm Eldar is because sometimes it just feels like there's no hope for me to uh, work anything other than uh, like a, a wage slave job because I'm 25 at the moment. Some people have suggested coding. Maybe I'll try learning coding as another Hail Mary attempt. Well, actually don't Nah, I probably won't, to be honest. Like, don't, never mind. Like, because I'll probably say that and then not do it. So just ignore that. Um, But, you know, like, think about like that, for example. Like, um, like, what is it about coding that necessarily makes it easier to learn than, than guitar, even if it's like a more valuable skill, uh, which is debatable in a sense. But, um, like, um, like, what is it about coding that makes it easier to learn than like learning an instrument or learning a sport at like a high level? If you, it's like, you know, I, I tried looking up like basic HTML and then you fucking, you know, inspect the HTML inside any like fucking like simple web page, And it's like literally like, seems like that's something I would have to like learn since I was like a fucking teenager. So, um, I don't, yeah, I, I, I don't know, I don't really know at this point, so, um, but yeah, that's,
pretty much where I am at at the moment. Uh, video is uh, approaching 30 minutes, so I'm probably going to end it here. Um, hopefully you guys, uh, you know, found this entertaining. Um, I'll probably try and uh, start to talk about more knee topics in my next video. Maybe uh, talk about um, my, um, maybe talk about my, uh, my experience with therapy or something in my next video. I'm thinking that might be my next video topic. But um, if you're watching this, uh, I think it kind of spoils that, but I'm sure there's something I could probably talk about there. Anyways, I'm uh, probably gonna end the video now. So uh, this is Company Neat signing out. Hopefully you guys found this uh, you know, somewhat enjoyable and peace.